Playing guitar is a lot like skateboarding. Once you know your chords, you know how to ride. But if you really want to impress people, you gotta know some tricks. It can be done simply, just associate your tricks with a chord. A trick I like to do is the three string rail grind. playing anywhere with your E chord bar chord shape, you've got three very accessible strings to slide on for a cool lick. On these notes, you can do any combination of slides, hammer-ons, double stops, picking, or this half-step slide on the D string. This is the scale beside your E chord bar chord shape, which is why this lick works. Knowing your pentatonic scales is like knowing your skate park. The more you play around on them, the more you'll find out where you like to make your favorite moves. If you don't know your pentatonic scales well or at all, you'll still be okay. Just remember what bar chord shapes your tricks go with and then try them out on different chords. Over time, this will help you visualize the fretboard and remember what notes you can play on a key. Just like trying the pop slide move on a bunch of different chords using your E major bar chord shape. This is a simple move, mostly on the D string where you slide up the scales and then back down right to where you started. After this lick, it's nice to go into the minor third chord on the key. More simply, this is the minor chord directly one fret to the left and on the fifth string of the chord you're playing. Bonus tip, in this riff I'm also playing sus4 chords. They can sound a little more spicy than standard chords, and all you gotta do is take your finger off the fifth string of your E major chord shape to play it. Back when I was 14, I remember trying to kick flip for the first time. I spent six months trying and failing hundreds of kick clips every day before I got it. Then one random day, it finally clicked and I got it. You can't even imagine how pumped I was for the rest of that week. Practicing guitar is like skateboarding. Once you get a trick down, you've got it forever and then you can pull it off all the time. The more tricks you learn and remember, the better you look. And the great part of guitar is that you'll never have to do any of this. A lot of teachers underplay that a huge part of guitar is just memorization. Giving these moves goofy names and metaphors is a memorization trick to help you remember bits and pieces of your scales. It's a much more practical and fun way to remember these things by playing as opposed to studying. Like learning the Blood Brothers. There tends to be one scale position most players learn first, it's this one. In this scale, I like to call the third and fourth strings the Blood Brothers. Playing on these strings can make endless amounts of good licks, and it's a great place to go often in your playing. These four notes could be the four notes great guitarists play the most often. Here's how you get these notes from different chord shapes. From the E major bar chord, it's three frets left. From the E minor bar chord shape, it's the same fret. Or from the A major bar chord shape, it's two frets to the right, or the same fret that your ring finger is on. Some tricks were made for different styles of music, just like some skateboard tricks are made for different skate parks. This is what you do when the Blood Brothers have the blues, or when you have them. This is a somewhat easy blues trick to play to finish off a blues song. One string above your Blood Brothers in everyone's favorite scale position. You've got three notes that sound great in blues-influenced music. 
along with one great chorus. At this point, I feel like we've been neglecting the A minor bar chord shape position. Neglecting this position is like neglecting to learn how to do a pop shove it. This position of your scales is awesome, easy to play, and great guitarists use it all the time. And it's got the Blood Brothers right in it, so you already know how to pull off endless easy tricks here. Play around with your brothers and then move into what I call the diddly bender. This lick is played on the second and third string with this cool bend trick to finish it off. Bending your second string up, then with the same pinky, play your same fret on the string below it. This almost always sounds good in this position. When skaters started getting bored of doing all their tricks with their feet, they started pulling off tricks with their hands. <laughs> When great guitarists got bored with their left hand, they started making tricks on their right. There are tons of tricks to learn on your strumming hand, strumming hand, that'll make your playing sound way more unique, like the rake. Your E major bar chord shape is in this position. A great set of notes to play in this position are the ones on the second, third, and fourth strings. On your right hand, you can do a trick called the rake, which sounds great with these notes, as well as many other times in your playing. To do this, mute the strings above these notes, but still strum the muted strings on the way down to the notes you're playing. You can also use your fingers on your left hand to mute these strings at the same time. It can be hard, but this trick is very worth it to learn. Finally, to end your performance, you need a good trick to ride off to. These sixth notes in the E major bar chord shape are fun to play a few licks with, but the way I like to pick it at the end of this next riff is a great way to add some good tension and resolve to your song. If you want to learn more about tension and resolve, I talked about it a lot in our most recent video where I went through a thousand chord progressions to see what I could learn. You can check it out right there. These two notes together sound great. The ending trick is to alternate pick them and add the notes in the fret between them to give a tension building bluesy sound. In other scenarios, simply sliding back on fourth on the notes in the scale sounds great. The trick is to make sure the second and fourth strings are muted so you can keep the rhythm going. And there we have it. Seven popular guitar tricks that sound great in any nice, simple chord progression. I promise if you learn these tricks, you'll be able to make tons of music, improvisations, and really start to visualize your pentatonic scales better than you ever have. There are endless licks using the notes and the tricks I just showed you. To really master a sound like this, look into Jimi Hendrix, John Mayer, Eric Clapton, and Stevie Ray Vaughan's music. There are tons of guitarists that use these tricks, but these guys seem to have mastered it the best. For tabs for everything I played in this video, subscribe to my Patreon. We're currently having a special offer on our tiers that's only available until May 20th, 2021. We're also giving away a free $1,000 guitar to one of our patrons once we hit 100 patrons. So check that out in the description below. And if you're really looking to improve at acoustic guitar in a structured step-by-step -step system that'll take all the guesswork out of learning guitar and guide you through everything you need to know, you can check out my complete impressive acoustic guitarist full program. That'll be in the description below as well. Hopefully you learned something pretty useful from this video. Thanks for watching. Make sure to hit that thumbs up button. Let me know what you thought of this video in the comments and hit that subscribe button to see my next video. I'll see you soon.